Hello students, greetings of the day. I hope you have done well in today's CMA Inter Cost Accounting paper. So without wait, wasting any further time, let me give an overview of today's CMA Inter Cost Accounting question paper and that is under new syllabus. So I will be reviewing the cost accounting question paper under new syllabus. Okay. So let me go through each MCQ. So first MCQ is which of the following is an applicable for is applicable for cost control. So this is from introduction to cost accounting, very basic question straight away picked up from the institute material. Under integral accounts, issue of direct material is debited to the following accounts. So again, this is a diet question picked up from the basics. Okay. Port X generates a contribution to sales ratio. That is PV ratio 40% is given. Next, a fixed cost is given and profit is given. He's asking us to calculate desired sales from marginal costing. Very basic problem given as MCQ. The most suitable cost system where product differs in type of material and work performed. Nothing but job costing. Basic definition for job costing or requirement of job costing. Okay. So basic bit. So primary packing is part of. Now information regarding that you will find in cost sheet and material cost. Okay. We have a problem in cost sheet also. So you should not find any difficulty in answering this bit. Very basic bit. Next. Cash budget of PQR and company for once of a short term surplus. That means cash budget is predicting that we will get a short term surplus. So what action should be taken by the company when it anticipates a short term surplus? MCQ framed from theory. Okay. So answer is nothing but pay great as early to obtain cash discount. That is the relevant option compared to the other options. So very basic bit. If I thorough with theory, you can easily answer this bit also. Next bit or next MCQ. The sales amount of product Z is 1 lakh. Its variable cost is 40,000, fixed cost is 50,000, calculate BEP, simple, you need to calculate BEP sales, you need to calculate PV ratio, so sales is given, variable cost is given, basic formula for PV ratio will be applicable, then you will apply fixed cost by PV ratio, you will get break even sales, basic, next, which of the following does not form part of prime cost, again basic, direct MCQ taken from the institute material. SN company which has a batch costing provides the following information. Batch costing information is given that is annual demand of the component, uh, SC setup cost is given, manufacturing cost per unit is given, carrying cost per unit. He is asking us to calculate economic batch quantity. You can simply apply the formula root of 2 into A into S by C. You will get the answer. Very basic. Next, the method of apportioning joint cost on the basis of output of each joint product. At the split off, at the point of split off is known as nothing but physical unit method, right? So again, basic question. When it comes to job, uh, joint products and byproducts, you have different methods for apportioning the joint cost. Nana. So if you have that theoretical knowledge, you can answer this MCQ. Very basic. Okay. At the time of explanation, the chapter itself, we will explain all those methods. Next, bit number 11. In the process, 12,000 units are introduced during a period. 5% of input is normal loss. Closing work in progress, 60% complete is 15, 1,500 units. 9,900 units completed are transferred to next process. Equivalent production for the period is... Up to now, whatever the MCQs are given, out of all those MCQs, this MCQ is somewhat tough. I mean to say, tough in the sense, you need to have some knowledge about preparation of equivalent production units, okay. So, you need to prepare it, then you can answer it easily, okay. Compared to earlier bits, it is somewhat tough, okay, right. Next, time allowed for a job is 80 hours. The work, the worker takes 68 hours. So, standard hours is given, actual hours is given, time rate is given. They are asking us to... Calculate earnings under row one bonus plan. Very, very basic question. You can do that easily. From the following information, you need to calculate what supplementary overhead recovery rate. Overhead incurred is given, overhead absorbed or recovered is given. So under recovery is how much? 1 lakh. No, a, a cost of sales is given, finished goods is given, work in progress is given. So 1 lakh divided by summation of these three, 5, 4, 3.5, right? That's like 12.5. So you will get the answer. Supplementary overhead recovery rate, you will get the answer. Very basic. Okay. This MCQ is directly framed from illustration given in ICA material. The same thing is covered in masterminds also. Right. Next, bit number, what we say, 14. Which of the following cost accounting standards deals with determination of average cost of transportation? It is nothing but CAS 5, right? So, one bit from cost accounting standards. Next, if standard hours of 100 units of output is 80, Standard hours per 100 units of output are 800 at the rate of 4 hours per hour and actual hours taken to produce those 100 units is 760 hours at the rate of 4.5 rupees per hour. Then calculate labor rate variance. We know the formula for labor rate variance, right? SR minus AR into AH, right? So you will get the answer. Very basic. 
So these are the MCQs. Only one MCQ where you may need to do some calculation that is MCQ related to process costing. Remaining all MCQs are straightforward MCQs. You can simply do it on the calculator or simply find out the answer. So when it comes to MCQ part, it is easy in my opinion. Next, section B. Altogether, seven questions are given. You need to answer five questions. Each question carries 14 marks, right? So first one. Sun and Moon Limited SML is leading hardware manufacturing start startup. It manufactured and sold 200 computers in the year 2022. Uh, summarized trading and profit and loss account of the year 2022 is given. So output is given and all this information is given, right? Okay. Uh, next. And uh, additional information is also given for the year 2023. The output and sales will be 300 computers. Price of material will rise by 25% compared to previous year level. Wages per unit will rise by 10%. Manufacturing charges will increase in proportion to the combined cost of material and wages. Selling and expenses per unit will remain unchanged. Other expenses will remain unaffected by the rise in output. My dear students, this bit is exactly same as that in our masterminds material that is assignment 10 exactly same problem which is given in our material as assignment 10 everything is same hardly there will be change in numbers entire procedure will be one and the same so if you have gone through assignment problems at least if you have gone through or revised assignment problems you can easily do the problem so what they're asking they're asking us to prepare cost sheet and they're asking us to find out the selling price selling price okay so that is problem related to cost sheet next b just by looking at the question, I can say that this problem is from employee cost or labor cost. Okay. And it is related to labor turnover ratio. Okay. And this problem is exactly there in our CRD. That is 23. CRD 23. So why I am highlighting these points? To let you know the importance of our material. So if you're thorough with our material, you can do almost all. You can do all the problems in this question paper okay so the management of dolphin limited wants to know the profit loss of Argon as a result of labor turnover last year last year's sales accounted to 66 lakhs and the pv ratio was 20 percent the total number of actual hours worked by direct labor force was 3 lakh 45 thousand as a result of delays by the personal department filling the vacancies due to labor turnover 75 thousand potential productive hours were lost the actual direct labor hours include 30 thousand hours attributable to training new recruits out of which half of the hours were unproductive i don't think there is no need there is go there is need to go through the remaining part of the problem because the, the entire problem is there in both ca institute cma institute material as well as in our masterminds material that is crd 23 everything is same just the numbers have changed so if you're thorough if you have gone through that crd 23 you can easily do that problem okay so that is 2b let us go to 3a ABC Limited manufactures product A at the rate of 80 pieces per hour. Okay. So, this problem is from overhead chapter. This problem is from overhead chapter. The company has been producing and selling 1,60,000 units annually since last 5 years. However, during the current year, the company was able to produce 1,46,000 units only. Okay. Right. So, this is the normal capacity. This is the actual capacity. Okay, the annual, the company's annual fixed overhead for the current year amounted to 5,84,000. The company works on a single shift only at 8 hours per day at 6 days a week. So, as of now, it is working only for 6 days a week. Okay, All right. The company had declared 13 holidays. Okay, the quarterly preventive maintenance and repairs involves 72, 77 hours. All these adjustments, that means one week per day is lost, 13 holidays in a year okay and 77 hours if we subtract all these from maximum you will get practical okay so maximum how much nana you have 365 days right every every day how many hours eight hours okay every day eight hours so into pieces you will get maximum capacity from that if you subtract one day plus 13 plus in into convert those into hours and minus 77 hours you will get practical capacity normal already we have seen 160 actually is how much 146 then we have to calculate ideal capacity hours. Okay, difference between the above is nothing but ideal capacity hours. That we can do it later on. Compute hourly rate of recovery of overhead of each of the capacities computed at 1. So, basing on the capacities that we have calculated, we have to calculate hourly recovery rate. Out of all the given problems, this is the only problem which is somewhat theoretical, linked to theoretical. If you have theoretical knowledge, then only you can answer 1 and 2. Then only you will be able to answer okay 
that is the only part okay and when it comes to examination we can accept we can expect that you will get this kind of problems okay so this uh, this problem is from overhead chapter overhead chapter okay All right next nana 3b sb limited maintains integrated accounts of cost and financial accounts so companies following integrated accounting system so some transactions are given and they're asking us to generalize those transactions narration is not relied, uh, required nana this problem is from cost bookkeeping or cost accounting system very easy okay next 4a so maxwell hospital runs a diabetic care center in a hired building the dcc consists of 50 beds and 10 beds can be added okay so as soon as i go through the problem i can say that this problem is from service costing this problem is from service costing okay so information is given further information regarding dcc is as under okay what is that information rent per is rent is given supervisor nurses ward boys employed and wages paid per them is also given doctors were doctors were paid at 250000 per month on the basis of number of patients attended that is also given some other expenses for the year is also given nana it is estimated that for 150 years in a year 50 beds are occupied and 40 beds are occupied for 50 days only the hospital hired 750 beds beds bed days okay the hospital hired 750 bed days at a charge of 100 rupees per bed per day to accommodate the flow of patients so extra beds were hired how many 750 over the year okay However, this is not this does not exceed more than 10 beds over and above the normal capacity of 50 beds on any day. The hospital recovers an average of 1500 rupees per day from each patient. So this exact question is there in our material as CRD 11. The only change is the numbers. Remaining everything is same. And what they have asked us to calculate? All the three things. All the three things are there in our problem also. That is CRD 11. So whatever the problems that we have seen till now, only one problem has not been covered. Actually, it is there, but it is there in different parts. In one particular question, we have maximum capacity, normal, cal how to calculate maximum, normal, actual, and ideal capacity. And in the problem, we have how to calculate hourly rate basing on these capacities. So if, if you have done both the problems, then you can do this problem easily. Okay, right. Next. Next one is, so this is 4A. 4A is from service costing, right? service costing and next 4b okay mohit a leading civil contractor prepares his account on 31st march each year so this is from contract costing contract costing contract costing okay uh, right the following information is revealed from his cost account the cost accounting records on 31st march 2023 material cost labor cost foreman salary is given and some other information is also given. The machine costing 260 remained in use on site for two fifth of the year. That will be helpful for calculating of depreciation. Supervisor, which who is paid eight thousand rupees per month, has devoted one half of his time. Other expenses one lakh thirty six thousand five hundred. The contract price is given. Two third of the contract has been completed. However, architect cert architect certified fifty percent of the contract, out of which seven lakh fifty had so far been paid. Prepare a contract account. Exact problem is there in our masterminds material at CRD six okay right so you can do that easily so this is from content costing right next 5a as soon as you look at the problem you can conclude that it is from process costing okay it is from process costing three processes are given and all the basic information is given okay and overheads are record 90,000 are record on the basis of diet wages. So in each process account you will recover overheads or absorb overheads at the rate of 100% of diet wages of each process nana then you have to prepare process account basic process account crd5 in our masterminds material it is exactly same as crd5 okay right so that is 5a next problems are very very easy only the problem that till now that we have seen which is somewhat typical or which test your conceptual clarity is overheads problem remaining all problems are straightforward problems okay next next one is 5b right it is 5b so delta limited furnishes the following information material information standard information is given to produce one unit and during the month 10 units of product are are actually produced and composition is so standard composition is given and as well as actual composition and rate is given he is asking us to calculate all the material variances so this is from standard costing and exact problem is there 
in our material as CRD2. Exact problem. Only the numbers will change. Remaining everything is same. Just we need to change the number. So, if, if you have done that problem, CRD2 is the starting problem, right? So, if you have done the basic problems in all chapters, you can easily do the problems given in our in the examination. That is 5B. Next, 6th one. Obviously, 6th one will be marginal costing. So, this is from marginal costing. Okay. Right. So, New Vistas Limited is manufacturing three household products XYZ and selling them in the competitive market. The following details details regarding current demand, selling price, and cost structure are extracted from the records of the company for the ending 31st, uh, for ending 31st March 2023. Okay. So, three products information is given, expected demand is given, selling price is given, variable cost is given, direct material, directly variable weight, and fixed weight is also given. Now, the key point in this question is these two. So basically, just look by look, uh, during the next year, it is expected to have one of the following situations. Raw metal is available only 24,200 kgs and direct labors available will be only 10,000 hours. So basically, this, is, this problem is limit, related to limiting factor. Limiting factor. And this is present in our material. This is present in our material. Okay, in limiting factor, we have given two problems, Nana. In one problem, we have taken... Uh, raw material as a limiting factor in other problem we have taken labor hours as a limiting factor okay so in this he has summed up both the things and he has given what is asking calculate net profit of the company in each of the above situations so we have to calculate net profit separately under above situations now okay so that is related to limiting factor easy problem there is no complication in that regard when it comes to limiting factor what we uh, we have a standard procedure right we will calculate contribution per limiting factor that's what we need to do first we need to calculate contribution per limiting factor that is raw material under that what is our net profit then we will calculate contribution per labor hour then what is the net profit under it that is what he has asked us okay so very easy problem next 7a so this is from budget and budgetary control budget and budgetary control okay so so very basic problem what he has given is that he has given sales budget for the calendar year 2022 quarter wise information is given then after what they have given the year is expected the year is expected to open with a inventory of 12,000 units of finished product and close with inventory of 6,000 so opening and closing stock of finished goods is given production is customarily scheduled to provide 70 percent of current quarter sales demand plus 30 percent of following quarter sales so this 30 percent will become closing stock okay closing stock for the current period nana 30 percent of next quarter will become closing stock of this quarter the budgeted selling price per unit is 40 rupees and variable cost per unit is 35 rupees okay fixed overhead are 4 lakh 40 thousand which are evenly distributed throughout the year okay what they are asking us to prepare quarterly production budget for the year and calculate break even point same kind of problem is there in our chapter in assignment 3 in assignment 3 if you have done crd3 you can do this also but exact problem is there in assignment 3 okay so that is 7a 7b and 8 are theory questions right 7b is given from cost accounting standards okay both are basic questions one is related to cost standard objectives and functions of cost accounting standard board and second one is cs4 nothing but cost of production for captive consumption 8a what is responsibility what is the responsibility is the different types of responsibility center cost center profit center revenue center investment center okay bill of material asked multiple times in mtps and mqps okay next what is the treatment for overtime wages again given from cost accounting standards so as far as i am concerned the paper is easy if you are thorough with our material and if you have gone through guest questions then also you can easily do the problem i hope you have done the paper well all the best for the future thank you